Terry, we, we just had uh, Kathy Wood on, and she was talking about this inventory glut that she see, sees building. She, she mentioned that inventories at Gap were up, I think she said, by 7 to 8%. Inventories at Nordstrom up by 13% right now. It was the same story when you talked to Walmart or Target last week. They talked about how their inventories were up pretty significantly, too. One of them by as much as 17%, I think, for Target. Um, is there a point where the consumer gets tapped out where they've bought everything they need for the holidays and, and maybe they slow down? Or do you think that this is a consumer that is really going to keep spending right after and through the holidays? Well, I think it depends on the product category um, for, for sure, uh, Becky. Um, I, you know, I think maybe in the electronics category, uh, they will have purchased what they, what they need. But clearly in the apparel category, uh, there is a lot of runway in terms of need and what's not in your closet today, what you haven't spent money on for the last 18 months uh, that, that, that has pent up demand. As, as, as those return into the workforce, they're going to want to upgrade their, their wardrobe. As those return to events, concerts, weddings, travel, et cetera, they're going to want to purchase uh, against the, those, those trends. And so, so in the apparel category, I think there's a, a lot of opportunity for continued growth into uh, the next several months, well beyond the holiday period. We keep hearing that the retailers aren't going to have to discount this year, that there aren't sales and that consumers should just get used to it and buy early. But I was just looking around at Nordstrom's website and a couple other places, and there's some pretty significant discounts that are being offered. And these aren't the type of mark it up and then take the prices back down. I looked at some brands that you know pretty well, like Uggs or Spanx or different things. These are significant discounts off of what you would normally expect to pay for, for items that you see out there. Is, is this going to be a profitable Christmas or, or not? Again, I think it's, it's going to depend on the individual retailer and where they have inventory lumps that they have to move. I mean, clearly, the, the, the acceleration of purchase power over the next seven weeks is extraordinary relative to January, February. So they're, they're, they're calculating what their inventory level is today and what they need to do to move that inventory be, before that, uh, that time frame ends. But having said that, again, it's individual. I think overall, Becky, margins are going to be high. Yeah. I mean, the fact of the matter is the way consumers shop, they shop early. We know that. I mean, the momentum was clearly has been there. Uh, and, and customers t t tend to say that they're only going to shop once, but they, their, their track record is the opposite, that they shop early and then they again will shop late. So it's a double dip opportunity for the, for the retailers, number one. And number two is I think consumers will also going to say, well, I want to buy this, but they didn't have that. I'm going to all, I'm, then I'm going to buy this. And so I think that's kind of unique where we are today because the demand is so high and the, and and the, and the supply is somewhat limited here. So, so I think for margin purposes, I mean, you got to look at the, the overall opportunity for retailers that I, I see as very positive. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.